This video will show you the key options for annotating your map in Rome. I've got a map on screen where I've already added some annotations. Let's work through adding some more and editing what's already there. The annotation tools are found in the sidebar. The first option on the Create tab is to add some markers. And let's try some tree markers. Just select the symbol, then click on the map whenever you want to place it. The first option in the Draw and Create area is to add a standalone label. Let's add a title for our map. Select the Label tool, then choose your settings. I'll go for black font, bold, and then select my font size. Click where you want to place the label, then just type your title. The next option is to add a measurement label. This is for features you've already added. Let's select that tool and then select this area that marks out where the car park will be. It adds the measurement label for us. Next up, you can add lines. Let's add a line to reflect a road that's to be built. Next, I'll choose a line colour. I want blue. I'll select two point wide and a dash style. Now just click on the map at each point and then double click to finish. I can also add a measurement label to my line. I've used the polygon tool to cover this area on the left and labelled it hotel. Let's add another polygon on the opposite side. Select polygon tool, select the stroke colour and the fill colour. Now if you want the colours to match, one tip I have is to copy and paste the hex code from the stroke colour picker to the fill colour picker. Now click to start drawing and then double click to finish. You'll see the polygon I've added is solid. Let's edit it to make it transparent. First, um, choose the select arrow. Then select the feature you want to edit, in this case the polygon. Now I can open the fill settings and drag this transparency to the left to make my object more transparent. With an object selected, I can modify other aspects of it. I can attach a label. I can move it, select the feature, then the move tool and drag it wherever you want. It's possible to change a shape. Let's change this urban room shape to take a corner off it. I'm going to select a different feature, this green rectangle, and rotate it. So with the object selected, use the rotate tool. Other modify options are to scale features or transform. As well as polygons, there's a range of shapes you can add, triangle, square, rectangle and more. Let's look at the buffer feature. Let's say I want to see what lies within a half mile radius of this site. I select point buffer, add a 0.5 mile radius, then I just click on the centre of the building. If I zoom out, you'll see the buffer zone that's been added. As well as creating annotations, you can import and display data in any of the five formats shown on the import tab. The process is to select choose file, select your file and open and then click import. In this map I've imported data that shows some areas of archaeological interest in York. Here I've imported the locations of polling places in the county of Perth and Kinross. Remember that you can save your map with your annotations in the My Maps menu or you can select export to export your work in one of these three formats. You can also print your map and include your annotations. So those are some of the key options. I hope you enjoy using them.